Hello friends, welcome to Science Gully. In this video, we are going to learn images formed by two plane mirrors. Friends, we all have seen that when we look into a plane mirror, we can see one image of ourselves. You are standing in front of two plane mirrors. What will you get to see? I see images in both the mirrors. In addition, the image in the first mirror may act as an object for the second mirror. The second mirror forms an image of the image. Scientifically, the number of images formed by two plane mirrors depends on the angle between them. If theta is the angle between two plane mirrors, then the number of images formed by them are given by the formula n is equal to 360 divided by theta minus 1. Let us verify this experimentally. Let us place this mirror at an angle of 120 degree. Let us place this object here and see how many images are formed. You can see two images are formed. Place the mirror at angle of 120 degree and we have observed two images. Let us calculate using the formula. So n is equal to 360 divided by theta which is 120 and we get 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so our number of images are 2 let's take the next reading i will place the mirrors at 90 degree let's place the object close to the mirror and observe how many images we can see see three images here one two and third in the center we had placed the mirror at 90 degree and we observed three images. Let's calculate n using the formula 360 divided by theta which is 90. We get 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So we got three number of images. Let's move on to the next reading. Now I will place the mirrors at 60 degree. Let us place the object close to the mirror. Now you can see five images, two at each side and one in the center. We have placed the mirror at an angle of 60 degree and we observed five images. Let us calculate n using the formula 360 divided by 60 is 6 minus 1 we get 5. So we got five number of images. See how these images are formed using a ray diagram. Let us take theta as 120. This is mirror A and this is mirror B. They are placed at an angle of 120 degree. Place the object O in front of this mirror. Here the incident rays are R1 and R2. Based on the law of reflection, the incident rays will get reflected as RR1 and RR2. At R1 incidence ray, the angle of incidence is 0, so it will retrace its path. If we extend these reflected rays back to a point, they will meet here, where the image 1 is formed. The same way, the incident rays will fall on mirror B and get reflected. If we extend these reflected rays, they will meet at a point I2 where the image 2 is formed. In this way, two images are formed, image 1 and image 2, when the mirrors are placed at an angle of 120 degree. Using the formula, we get two number of images and even in the ray diagram, we have seen that we observe two images. And also remember that we have observed this in the mirror. Thank you for watching Science Gully. I'll be back with another video for you. Till then, bye-bye.